Oh, Mojo. Okay, man. So we got another uh, top ten. I don't. I don't know if you're surprised by now. You shouldn't be because we do Mojo like every day. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a part of our channel now. You know the SGZ23 channel. We're doing the top ten secret Cartoon Network Easter eggs. Take that out on the top ten secret uh, Cartoon Network Easter eggs in shows. So if you don't know what Easter eggs are, that's basically like references from other shows or you know times where they mentioned other shows in different shows. You know what I'm saying? They put Easter eggs. That's what they call it, Easter eggs in those shows. So uh, yeah, let's stop talking, let's listen, and let's get right to it. You dig? Wait a second, wait a second. What was that? Can you go back? Can you rewind? Maybe, hey maybe guys, I should get talked about for their dab because I ain't gonna lie to you. That wasn't supposed to happen. That was not supposed to happen. That was not planned. Please get on my ass for that. Before we begin, yeah, when was the dab has been retired for a long time now? Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Z, you need your ass whooped. We're taking a look at the references, shoutouts, and homages you might not have caught the first time around in your favorite Cartoon Network shows. Let's take a look. Frankie, have you seen my bow? No, I should have bubbled. <laughs> Number ten. Everyone watches Adventure Time. Clarence. Hey, check this out. Adventure Time was one of Cartoon Network's mm, I wouldn't say everyone, Clarence. Humor, lovable characters, but and deep lore. everyone and should stop whatever we give it a try. Tune in. Hey, dude, we may most definitely. Characters seem to love this very uh on the opposite, informative. On the Clarence, a character named Chad tunes into Adventure Time while on a camping trip. Over on another offbeat comedy called We Bear Bears, a student named Chloe uses the show as background noise while working on her homework. <laughs> After catching these adventurous Easter eggs, well, you know exactly crazy. what to binge watch next. Let the real adventure begin! Number 9, Agent Ash Ketchum, codename Kids Next Door. Uh. The destruction of coffee. The adult's energy source. You don't have to be Detective Pikachu to uncover this Pokemon reference. During an episode of Kids Next Door, the young operatives plan an attack on adult coffee shops. When the camera stops on the crowd, we see a child with a red hat and blue and black clothing scheme. His outfit is uh, identical to Ash Ketchum's iconic clothes from the beginning of the original anime series. This kid in the crowd is either excellent at cosplay or the bona fide Pokemon trainer himself. If it really is Ash, Hater Ash. we'll want to know how he stayed 10 years old for 20 plus years. Number Ash, eight, what is your Ash doing in Code Name Kids Next Door? I am Weasel. This is where your animated heroes of yesteryear spend their golden years. Over the years, the Hanna Barbera Company has created a huge roster of animated. Oh, I remember this show with their worst. Weasel used a fraction of them for hilarious. Games. I remember this off Boomerang. In the I Am My Lifetime episode, elderly versions of I Am Weasel and I R Baboon are now living in separate nursing homes. Weasel lives with a gray Johnny Quest. I and Am a Weasel. Dexter. Meanwhile, Baboon hangs in a home with an aging Pebbles and Bam Bam. We also see an asylum for old villains that features Ranger Smith from Yogi Bear and the red guy hmm. from Cow and Chicken. The slew of cameos was a great way to showcase Hanna-Barbera's legendary history. I don't think he yes, belongs here either. I like that. I think they should lock him up in the old cartoon villains asylum. Number 7, Samurai Jack action figure, Dexter's Laboratory. You are interrupting my very delicate. <laughs> my nigga had a <laughs> when Dexter gets hey, that's funny. I ain't gonna lie to you. Inventions, he can always unwind by playing with my some nigga Dexter, a fan of Samurai Jack. Figure in his collection doubles as an awesome Easter egg. While Dexter's dad is cleaning his son's room, you can spot a Samurai Jack toy on the shelf. The action figure comes complete with his hey boy. What you doing with that? That's a whole nother show. It's a shame that the real Jack never met Dexter while he was trapped in the future. I have many questions and little time. The little scientist probably could have built the samurai a time. It's crazy. I never liked Samurai Jack. I can't get I just can't get into it. It's not really nothing. It's it's really just straight action. It ain't enough like, you know, storytelling. You know, talking storytelling ain't enough like romance and, and it ain't enough crazy shit in the show. It's just all about action. Which I love action, don't get it twisted, but I don't like too much of anything. I like a mixture of everything. Merry Christmas, If you were making a list of the most iconic Christmas specials of all time, you would have to Charlie Brown. The animated Peanuts special has sweet moments and memorable scenery. 
Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends paid homage to the famous cartoon during dun, their own dun, Christmas dun, special. Dun, While Mac is dun. struggling to get in the Christmas spirit, he walks by an award-winning doghouse decorated with Christmas lights and a sad-looking Christmas tree. Upon closer inspection, it's clearly meant to be Snoopy's doghouse and Charlie's small tree. While the two Christmas specials yeah, yeah. are wildly different, you already know what it was. their main characters rediscovering their holiday spirit. Number 5. Dexter Balloon, codename Kids Next Door Maybe we should call for backup. Call for backup if you want. The kids next door need resourceful and clever agents to defeat their adult foes. Between his insane smarts and young age, Dexter would have been an ideal recruit. While we don't know if the scientist ever joined, he got a sizable cameo on their show. During the Operation Uncool episode, an operative escapes from nerd zombies in an emergency blimp. When it launches, a large balloon version of Dexter springs out on top. Although the balloon deflates quickly, the design shows a lot of potential. If stopping adults doesn't work out, the kids could build balloons for the <coughs> Thanksgiving Day Parade. My niggas Number ain't had a Dexter, uh, a Dexter balloon. Cartman's look, the Powerpuff Girls. Seriously, what the hell? Outside of Adult Swim, you wouldn't expect a South Park reference on Cartoon Network. I'm Yet saying, like what, bro? An innocent and hilarious gag in an early episode. When Blossom is thrown into a pile of clothes, she emerges looking like the foul-mouthed Eric Cartman. Seriously? Instead of swearing, she throws out a quick seriously to shout out one of his many catchphrases. Is he seriously, little... is he seriously giving a speech right now? Hopefully a greater awareness of this wardrobe gag this will be the way for the long-awaited South Park and Powerpuff Girls team-up episode. After all, Cartman Ain't nobody trying to see that superhero shit. costume. Let's see if he can take Mojo Jojo. Please don't hurt hey, South Park, they be having hella references to shit in they, uh, in they shows. A bookcase of Batman history. Teen Titans Go. Come on, come on, come on, you can't be in here. I Teen mean, Titans Go doesn't this makes sense, though. Subtle gags, but it set up a few sneaky bonuses for Batman fans in the sidekick episode. If you look behind the picture of Batman and Robin, you'll see an entire bookcase of Easter eggs. There's the evil Scarface dummy, bandages previously worn by Batman foe Hush, the beauty cream that made Clayface, and Mr. Freeze's entire head. The darkest trophies are a crowbar next to an urn that says Robin 2. Those items reference the time Joker beat Jason Todd's Robin with a crowbar before blowing him up. That's awful bleak for a show that normally jokes about waffles. Waffles? No, it's not. Waffles? Because you know they put all types of Batman... Dog they put all types of the past stuff in Teen Titans Go. The world is new to me. What has happened? No, 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 no. Quite all right, quite all right. One of the most bizarre characters on the Powerpuff Girls is the talking dog. Despite being well, I should say, you know, Robin's history with Batman. They put a lot of that in the show. The same ad is later seen on Samurai Jack. After Jack is flung into the distant future by the evil Aku, he walks through a barren wasteland with talking dogs. When they point out the artifacts they've the uncovered, hell? the same dog food billboard can be seen. Wait, if the two shows take place in the same universe, does that mean the girls were defeated by Jack's nemesis Aku? Jeez, and we thought the Robin reference was dark. I'm afraid terrible punishments are exacted. Hold on, what's the Easter egg? Ah, shit, I ain't even, I don't even know what stupid the Easter egg was. With its stupid shoes. I think it was like, I knew it was like dogs, but like... Oh no, I kinda missed it. He's having yeah, a not attack. a Jesus. We need a doctor. This nigga. I, th I remember seeing that. Yeah, yeah, I see it. He must be disturbed from his slumber. He becomes quite vicious when alarmed. <laughs> On it. Oh, one, I remember that episode. Last with the power I haven't girls. seen that episode in a while. Girls. I can't disprove your stupid imaginary friend's existence. Even a boy genius like Dexter needs to start his education somewhere. He just so happened to have some extraordinary kindergarten classmates. In the Powerpuff Bluff episode, Dexter can be spotted sleeping next <laughs> to the girls during their school nap time. He appears in several other episodes as either a bystander or a doll. His sister Dee Dee and her imaginary friend also received brief appearances of their own. These cameos might have been suggested by Gendy Tartakovsky, who created Dexter's lab before working on the Powerpuff Girls. Thanks to him and his fellow animators, we may have only scratched the surface of Easter eggs. Uh, I see Dexter and so the Powerpuff think? Girls have a real anything, close relationship. In the comments below. My nigga Dexter probably done ran through all of them. <laughs> and you know what I mean when I say ran through. You did. Yeah, that was the video. You know, that was that was cool seeing all these uh shows have like them little crossovers like that. You know what I'm saying? Some shit that you basically just had to like, you know, pay attention to catch on to. I like that uh, Cartoon Network does that. You know, it's very, it's very, it's it's nice.
You know what I'm saying? It's nice. I, I can say that. It's nice. But anyways, uh, yeah. Tell me what y'all want next. Comment down below. Because, you know, I will see it. And I will consider it. But anyways, uh, yeah. Z23. We out this bitch. I hope you're having a blessed day today. Because if you're not, well, keep your head up. Because uh, tomorrow's not promised. And you can very much be gone tomorrow. So, live today to your fullest. Make it to tomorrow. Because, hey, everybody don't make it to tomorrow. And everybody is not living how you're living bro what how you're living today may be lavish compared to others you know what i'm saying keep that in mind but uh three god out this bitch